Rudy Camacho really getting that opportunity to be pushed up in that midfield. So then it brings on the opportunity for George Campbell and Thorkelson. Trust doing a key role in the midfield. Yeah, he's going to have to shuffle the deck again tonight. And really, it's going to be those three up top that are going to really have to produce for him. I think this game could be a game that you could see a lot of goals. So it was an early struggle, but it was also a, an adaptation really to the new coach and his style and, and also an adaptation for him to understand his personnel. We are underway. It's the Canadian Classic. Now we have some changes for CF Montreal as Hernan Lozada wants to shake things up, making two changes here, Greg, for the second half. Alongside George Campbell on his right and Gabriel Corbo on his left. Second half underway from Stad Saputo in this Canadian Classic. It's Jarred Free and Insigne trying to beat both his defenders, but a strong play from George Campbell cuts off the Italian and Campbell with a nice dribble into the penalty area. That's a Lassie Lepoinen! And the bell will ring tonight in Montreal! Montreal George Campbell was able to come up and sneak in and steal this ball away. And just a deft touch with his left foot to thread that ball right in the pass, in the path of Lassie Lapalainen, who just does the easy job but just hits the target. Look at how George Campbell there just weaves his way through the Toronto defense. And Lassie Lapalainen is expecting that ball to eventually come off of George Campbell's foot. And it does. Lassie Lapalainen does a smart thing by keeping it low and giving Sean Johnson no chance to save that ball. And a massive goal to start, which was basically an onslaught from the start from this Montreal Shown side. Jaquiel Marshall Ruddy showing a second yellow for time wasting, and it goes from bad to worse for Toronto FC. So here's that earlier play. He's just got the ball there, and then you can see he's just holding it on, holding on to it, just not allowing Aaron Herrera to get the ball. Find Schwenier, those two play catch. Herrera will put it into the penalty area, and at the near post. Lassie Lapalainen was looking for another. Not properly cleared either. Here's Ofo. Ofo on the top. Not properly dealt with by Toronto FC, and they nearly pay the price. That battle with Ofo on that back post. Ball not dealt with well by Toronto. Poor clearance there by Mark Anthony Kay. Falls to Schwanier, just puts it back in the mix. And then you can see that battle there happening, and Ofo has got to score from there. Just leans back too much and just gets himself underneath it and the ball over the top of the net. Bogiar and Chinoso for more room to run. Schwanier now on the right side. Bogiar, lots of time to think about this. Plays into the middle. Danger zone! And it costs Toronto! Another goal for CF Montreal! Chinoso for. Schwanier just lays it back to Zach Rogiard, who just does the right thing again. Just trying to trouble the central defense, and it's just a little flick that eventually deflects up, I believe it's Mabika's chest, and falls right to Chinoso 0 4. Here's another good look at it. There's that quick little deflection just off of Mabika from Lassie Lapalainen, falling right to the feet of 0 4. And it's easy from there. Sean Johnson's got no chance. They're trying to claim for an offside position there, but I don't think they're going to get it. Two goals against Toronto FC in two games for Chinoza Ofor is really finding his stride now. Italian duo in Sapong. You've got so much more advantage with numbers. Zinni, back post, CJ Sapong is there, and it's headed away. Knocked away on the line. I have to think this is really going to be the only chance that Toronto FC is going to get themselves back in this game, and it's a great header by CJ Sapong and Camacho in the right position there to help his goaltender, Jonathan Sirwa. And One moment for Toronto FC, and it was taken away by Rudy Camacho, and now Montreal is back at it again. Lassiter, save Johnson. Ariel Lasseter has come close a couple of times tonight. This time. That's a good ball right into the path of Ariel Lasseter from Lassie Lapalainen. And Lasseter does a good job of trying
trying to sh trouble Sean Johnson, but he does a better job. Sean Johnson does just making himself big. Gets enough of the ball. Ariel Lassiter played over. Good ball from Brogiar right back into the penalty area. And another chance for Zachary Brogiar. He puts it on and Johnson fights it and barely, barely keeps it out of the near post. By Sean Johnson. Here's that earlier chance by Zach Brogiar. Again, just Wells kind of kick not to any deep area of the field and just bites that pressure right back from Montreal. Gave it away again. Laster with the left boot, tries it. And Sean Johnson again, pressed into action. The save and now the corner kick. Wide area and then here's that second look. Just a poor giveaway there from Richie Larea. And then just no pressure towards Ariel Laster, just dropping again, off, coming up big for his team. Corner kick sent in. Second phase. Brogiar back into the penalty area. Look out! Another opportunity. Johnson to save it. Lorraine knocks it away. Toronto is hanging on by a thread. Team alive right now. Just not good, good enough from Toronto FC. Just a, again another chance there for Slovenia to clear that ball. Is unable to do it. Well driven ball. Some fans rising to their feet and Stad Sabuto sensing that the end is near. And a double derby victory is on the tap. CF Montreal takes two in a row against its biggest rival. All is well in La Belle Province. We've got a bit of a scuffle right in front of us. Tensions and now fists. Punch is thrown and everybody's gonna get involved now.